off-roading, the art of getting dirty and going broke while slowly heading nowhere and taking all day to do it. Hello everyone, I've been thinking to leave Explorer at garage until summer or spring, but an unexpected thing happened, a snow blizzard has arrived in Lithuania. Yesterday it snowed and was drifting snow, today reported heavy snowfall, have no other choice, need to drive. Today we will break through snow drifts, I'm going to look for fresh snow powder. Ha, I haven't gone anywhere yet and I've already hit the snow drift. It snowed a lot last night, drove from asphalt somewhere near town of Varney at the beginning of the Krajante river and moved towards Dubizov, through the valley of Krajante river. There is no point to cross river fords, water level still too high for my capabilities, but we will definitely stop for a look at a couple more impressive river crossings, which are part of the road. The drone had an accident, forgot to turn an obstacle avoidance and trimmed three branches with propellers. Glad that the drone survived, not so glad that I don't have any spare propellers in place. Don't know how about you, but the conditions are perfect for me to drive here. A lot of soft snow, it's not cold outside, let's drive. Well, let's go to Krajante, our destination. We will, be, we will be traveling from the beginning of Krojante river, which is about here, until the end of the Krojante when it flows into Dubisa. Krojante, one of the most underestimated, least known, least visited river in Lithuania. So we will visit here today, along the entire length. Emerging from the fresh snow, forest road drove up the dirt road towards the river, did not expect that under the fresh snow is hiding such a large amount of compressed snow. First dig today. It's not nice to be alone, stuck in the middle of fields, when there is nothing to tie winch, but nice that prepared properly today and picked up the snow shovel. While stuck in the snow, the most important thing is not to panic. Do not dig deep holes with wheels and slowly dig. Compress snow from where it got stuck. Oh, 
worked out a bit and we are free. When there is so much snow, it would be more fun to drive with another truck. You wouldn't have to dig so much. What can I say? Drive alone, dig alone. It's snowing outside. Snow is drifting. It's good that it's not cold. And this place will have to be passed. Don't know if it will work. Let's try. As expected, failed spectacularly. Don't know, need to check whether to dig the front or the back, because the snow drift is almost over and there is a lot of snow here, above the knees. Worst thing is that there is lots of old snow, which is compressed. If it was soft, we would pass without problems. And now I'm sitting stuck in snow. Perfect. Draw only the part that was digged out, I have to dig more. Nice, managed to escape from this large snow drift. Now let's go to collect toys, shovel and camera. There was a lot of snow here before the blizzard. Walking here reminds me of childhood, when I could walk on the snow and not break in. It's a pity Ford is not that light, like me. It fell into the snow, hung on differentials, but you can dig snow easily from under the car. It is important that the car is not low. Ok, let's get things and we drive on. Let's go, let's go, let's go. It seems that... It looks like we need to dig again. Ford is dug out, but now I'm afraid to drive. If I'll need to dig again, I don't have any strength left in me. Approaching road signs. Maybe that's it. Hope didn't forget the shovel because I'm not coming back. Let's go. The third gear with low range, best for snow. Oh, it's deep here.
road signs are rotten. Okay, let's stop here. Don't know where to go anymore. Let's go this way if the roads allows. If not, then the journey continues to the right, towards Kraje. I'm on this road for the first 10 kilometers. It took me maybe a couple of hours to drive it. A little bit behind the schedule. The first river crossing of Krajante, which is a part of the road. It seems that once there was a lot of water here, but the water is gone and the ice remained. Don't know how deep here is, but we have to try. Moving through fresh snow, a bit scary because it seems that stopping here would get me stuck. But the forest is beautifully covered with snow. Engine got a bit wet. Will not storm this tree fast. Let's try slowly. Already past 20 kilometers and the river widened considerably, approaching the town of Kraje, standing at the regular bridge and drive further into the blizzard. Hope I won't have to dig anymore, because the feet are wet, car is covered in snow, that's just great. Well, a much worse road is waiting. More precisely, where is the road? Can't see anything. But here are some mini ruts. It's good, because if not for ruts, I wouldn't know where I am. Do not worry, we are driving on the road, but an invisible road. Ok, need some speed so that wouldn't get stuck. It seems that the difficult part is best. A great day for a drive. Very close to the town of Kraje and drive along the road right next to the river. Krajente from an ordinary ditch has already turned into a real river, but it is difficult to see it during this blizzard. It's strange that the drone is still hanging in the air. There is a real blizzard outside.
we are approaching the quarry, but looks like there are many beavers in this forest. This is a third or fourth tree that looks like this, on the edge of falling down. Many fallen trees, beavers are building a town. Probably already mentioned it, but a very good day for a drive. What is this place? Query expanding, many cut down trees, looks impressive. Queries are closed everywhere, but at least there is no shortage of snow. Again, the road disappeared from the side. You can only hope that we are on the road. Sometimes you can see a silhouette, but it's hard. There wasn't such a weather for a long time. It's good that we are going down the hill now. It could get difficult to go uphill. And the road ended. Beaver blocked it. Can't understand why such a big tree is needed for beavers. But this is big. Cut down beautifully. Wonder if a beaver got crushed. Somehow we are active this winter. Probably getting ready for spring. Well, have to go clear the way. Hope that beaver doesn't get angry that I cut his tree. Let's go see how the river crossing looks during this winter. Let's hope it's passable. <sighs> you know I like to turn around and not drive through water. Everything can happen. Was here in the summer, then it was friendly river crossing and now looks a bit different. River crossing 212. It's too deep here in the winter. Just walking up to this place was 75-80 cm of water. The river doesn't even begin here. Where it's not frozen, river is at deepest part. Will be well above 1 meter of water there. Day is ending. Let's go to the last ford across Krasante, the most popular. Many have ridden, many have seen it. We turn around and run. The ice is thick here, but ends in the middle. It seems that the river is shallow, but broke the ice, tried to stand, haven't reached the bottom. Thank you, no. Will probably be over one meter of water. Let's go to look for a snowy road and have fun there. The day is over, didn't go very far, only 80 kilometers long trail, but it took me all day to finish it. 
Removing obstacles from the road took all the strength. Don't even remember when there was such an impressive blizzard in the winter. I'm glad I didn't stay at home.